Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, my name is Reija Lammi and I'm, I'm the creator of the concept of the saga of the hearts. There was a lot of off the <laughs> names but um, I know I have a couple of uh, English speaking followers so I wanted to uh, make the introduction video in English too to give you a little bit better perspective that uh, what, what it is what I bring into the world uh, without my, uh, uh, with my own uh, experiences and uh, things that I have learned through my, my own life. So, <clears throat> um, uh, all my teachings and all my uh, ideas uh, are based on um, the heart energy, our own heart essence. And <clears throat> Uh, what I do um, with my, my own uh, courses and own teachings, I teach people to learn about their own heart essence. So uh, basically um, uh, in the world like this, where, where we are living now and uh, where we are heading as a, as a people here on earth, um, I think we we have to know ourselves. We have to learn uh, about ourselves and and how our own emotions and how our, how our own thought patterns and the way of living is affecting um, the world and how they are affecting um, us ourselves and all the people around us. And this is um, the main reason uh, why I um, have been uh, started to bring these new ideas about the uh, heart essence into the world. And this is something, some, something that I have learned um, during my own life experiences, um, I, re I read a lot about different things, but it's not, uh, it's not just the readings and the wisdom that I have gained from the uh, different books, but it's actually something that I have experienced already in my life and the, the readings that I have read from the books, they have been like a confirmation to my own experiences that I have already had. So this way I have uh, uh, gotten some information, uh, the confirmation for my uh, own experiences that I have experienced in my life. and. <clears throat> Uh, through my own experiences then I am giving all the knowledge and all the wisdom back into the world and my way of bringing things forward and giving the uh, new ideologies uh, to, to humankind is really down to earth because I'm a human person and I'm I'm experiencing uh, life myself too. So it's easy to bring your own experiences to the public and, and maybe give some uh, examples for other people through my um, own uh, life experiences. And <clears throat> uh, we, we are uh, in a sense, um, really huge creators in in the world, we individually, and um, every decision we make in our lives somehow will shape our lives uh, 
and uh, people around us and um, our own feelings inside of us. And every time we choose to pick something up or every time we choose to attend something, um, we will affect to the world in a way uh, how we go into this situation with our heart, heart essence, with our feelings and uh, with our different wounds that we are carry, on, carry with us every day. And uh, that's why it's really important to learn to know yourself, uh, learn to know your own energies, how your own energies are affecting things around you, uh, how your own feelings are affecting uh, situations around you and attracting different kind of situations to you. And uh, it's really important to uh, understand um, how these different um, emotions uh, um, shape your own life. It's not always like um, what other people are doing to you. It's something that you carry inside of yourself and that is something that will shape everything you see in, in, um, uh, around you. And that's why the key, key to the success in your own life is actually the, the heart essence that you carry inside your heart and how much this your unique own heart essence can be brought into the daylight. Um, we uh, people intend to live uh, two separate lives. Uh, we live one life uh, in our own thoughts, in our own dream dreams and something it's almost like we are totally different people, tot totally different person and individuals inside of us. Uh, and then there is this other, other person that uh, this physical appearance and the physical actions and physical things that we are showing to the world. And sometimes uh, we want to fit in so badly into the world around us that we bury, we bury all the, all the unique and real essence of our uh, true heart's desires. And in a way this makes us uh, living in a lie but <clears throat> it's not usually that it's uh, uh, attentional. We, 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 we don't do it uh, by means. We, we usually don't even realize uh, how we live our lives uh, before we meet someone who is really um, pure and unique in, in her or his heart and um, uh, they trigger something inside of us and uh, make some, something grow uh, from inside out. And a lot of people usually think that um, to be able to grow as a person or people or human being um, we have to gain something from outside. We have to gain knowledge. We have to gain love from other people. We have to gain uh, skills from other people and stuff like that. But the true um, uh, wisdom lies inside our hearts and, and the way how couraged we are to bring that uniqueness 
outside from our hearts into the world. And this is usually the, the scary part of, the, of, of, of our own individual development to really uh, show to the world uh, who we truly are, what are, what, what are our true emotions and what are our uh, true desires and uh, what, are, what are those um, deep dreams that we really know that if, if, if they would become um, true in our lives it would totally change our lives and make us feel more love and more joy and more freedom and everything really positive that you can even think about. So um, my concept, the, the concept that I am uh, teaching about people, uh, for the people, is called um, Saga of the Hearts. Uh, the, or heart, actually. <laughs> it can be hearts too. But um, Saga of the Heart and Saga is a Scandinavian uh, word for tale. Like an um, uh, old tale uh, story that's, that has been passed on um, through generations. And um, Saga means the um, creation of the life, like you are creating your life in every moment and every moment you create a history, you, you create history and new life at the same time. And this way um, uh, we can learn from this uh, these different concepts and symbols like saga that every decision, every choice we made in our lives, we create something. We create something and uh, we, crea we create something new and we create our own history. Something that will uh, stay here on the planet uh, uh, long ago, long after you're gone. So Saga was the, the uh, one really important name in my own concept. And then when it says that Saga of the heart, uh, it means that you can really create your own life from your heart if you are willing to learn uh, new things about yourself not basically um, totally new things. This is something that is already in you. It's nothing, it's nothing that will, bring, brought, will be brought to you from some outside of yourself. It is in you already, but it might be that uh, you are not aware of it. And that's why it's really important to learn to know yourself learn to know your feelings and um, try to be, uh, how do you say, what is the English word for it, um, honest, try to be honest for yourself and this is, this is how, how you can actually get into those things that um, are on your way the blockages that are on, on your own life, uh, this way you can be, become aware of them and uh, you can uh, start to learn to um, work with them and, and um, unblock different things in, uh, from your life. And um, this is basically uh, what I do uh, with my Sark of the Heart uh, courses and <clears throat> um, one uh, really essential uh, aspect of this uh, training is um, become 
familiar with your own energies, to actually feel your own energies and uh, to get an idea uh, that you are actually um, so much more than just this physical appearance here on earth and um, <clears throat> uh, to getting uh, touched with your own energy and the feeling, the actual concrete feeling of your uh, own energies, uh, you will realize um, that you are more, so much more powerful than uh, what the life around you has teached to you. So, um, in a way, um, Saga of the Heart uh, teachings uh, will uh, take you into the journey uh, to your own heart. Like the, um, the way to remember again all the really good things that you are carrying inside of yourself. Uh, not only the, the wounds and uh, the, all the bad experiences and all the challenges that you might be uh, facing at the moment, but uh, more like um, uh, I remind you all the good thing, all the good things that uh, you have already in your heart all the good things that are just waiting to come outside. And um, this is my uh, gift to the world. Uh, this is my legacy that uh, I will leave behind um, when, when I leave, leave this physical uh, body. And uh, this is something that I'm, I'm uh, started to build up now uh, uh, since last year. And uh, if you want to uh, visit my website, I'm, I'm really sorry it's in Finnish at the moment. Hopefully uh, I will get a chance to, to make it in English in, in near future. But um, uh, in there, you can, you can, even though you don't understand the, the language, um, you can understand the pictures and the, the feeling that you get from different pictures in the, uh, in the uh, page, my web, web pages. And uh, this is just a small introduction, and uh, this was. Um, same at the same it was for me a little bit like um, uh, practice to see uh, if if I can do it uh, do this also in English and and bring more information about the heart essence to the world to the world uh, also in English so I I really hope that you enjoyed your time and <laughs> I'm sorry uh, about all my um, uh, spelling mistakes. It's been a long time that I've been uh, speaking so much English and, and it, it will take a time to uh, get it fluent again. But <clears throat> I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, if you liked it, I, I would really like you to describe um, to my uh, YouTube channel to, to get more of these um, uh, English versions of the Saga of the Heart teachings. So um, I hope you have a really nice day. We finally have a good summer here in Finland and um, we are enjoying the, the uh, actual sun after the really, really long winter. So um, <clears throat> uh, we Finnish people are really happy at the moment. But um, I hope this was uh, really informative to you and, and hopefully see you again next time. So see you in the next video. Bye!